A couple of years ago, I was contacted by a candidate looking for help in a political campaign. As he told me about his thoughts on the campaign strategy, he said he wanted to talk about the theft of the 2020 election and the COVID-19 hoax. I asked him if he really thought Trump had won. He said, no, I think Biden won. But the voters I need believe it was stolen, so that's what I have to say. I asked if he thought the COVID epidemic was real. He said, yes, but the voters I need believe it was a hoax, so that's what I have to say. I declined to help him because I didn't think our chemistry was compatible, but I did follow his campaign. He lost the election to an opponent who said Biden won, an opponent who also encouraged people to get the COVID vaccine. The candidate who had called me lost twice on election day. Not only did he fall short in the election, he also lost his dignity. Parroting rhetoric he did not believe, contorting his message into a lie in a vain appeal to the unread and ill-informed. He's not the only one who has succumbed to that temptation. This dilemma also bedevils a prominent cable news outlet and several talking heads who knew what they were saying about the election was untrue. The issue raises a question relevant to anyone who's running for office. Where do you draw the line in a campaign between speaking your truth or choosing to indulge voters who may not be as well informed as you? The answer lies in your motivation for running. If your purpose is to win by sticking your finger in the air and parroting the prevailing winds of public opinion, your task is not complicated. People like that do sometimes win. If, however, you are running to advance an important cause, solve an important problem, or right an egregious wrong, the task is more complicated. It requires integrity, a strong moral code, a passion to lead, even when leadership is hard. If you're looking for help on how to do that, I am easy to reach. I'm Jay Townsend.